Any force applied to a rotating object will have its maximum effect 90 degrees later in the direction of its turn. Gyroscopic precession is important to us because it applies to all rotating bodies, which includes the rotor blades of the helicopter. If we were to apply a force on this spinning object, that force would actually not be manifested until 90 degrees later in its rotation. Applying this concept to a helicopter with a counterclockwise rotating rotor system, by increasing the pitch angle on the 12 o'clock position, the effect of this pitch change wouldn't manifest until the 9 o'clock position, 90 degrees later in its rotation. This would induce a right roll, as the increase in pitch angle can be considered an increase in angle of attack. But what if we reduce the pitch at, say, the 12 o'clock position? Well, let's take a look. Reducing the pitch angle at the 12 o'clock position wouldn't have its maximum effect until 90 degrees later in its rotation. That means we can expect this reaction to occur at the 9 o'clock position, just like before. The difference this time around is that we have reduced the pitch angle instead of increasing it, which means we're going to enter a left roll as we'll have less lift on the left side of the rotor disc. This principle applies in all 360 degrees of rotation. As helicopter pilots, we don't actually have to deal with this, as the design of the rotor system already has gyroscopic precession taken into account. This is done by the use of pitch horns, which effectively displaces the pilot input by 90 degrees, completely nullifying gyroscopic precession for the pilot. In summary, any force applied to a rotating body acts 90 degrees later in the rotation and is taken care of by the use of pitch horns on helicopters.